<laughs> you ain't gonna believe what Gabby just did. Are <laughs> they, Gabby? Good girl, Gabby. Oh, that was awesome. Welcome back to the vlog. You guys, I appreciate you being here. If it's your first time coming across one of my videos, please take the time to subscribe right over there. Smash that like button and don't forget to click that little bell for notification. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's get down to what happened. This was crazy. Um, it's one of them things, any, it's windy out here today. Come here, Gabby. Anytime you're outside and you're a YouTuber, you need to have your camera on you. And I didn't. It was in the house on the charger, like always. Anytime something cool happens to Gabby, it's always in the house. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, so let me put this up over here. So anyway, here you go. No, they want to see you, Gabby. Anyways, I was out here mowing. Oh, Gabby's gonna get me. She's gonna get me. <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, I was out here mowing, and uh, the girls were out on their goat cart riding around. I, I mowed them a little track, and the animals start freaking out. Gabby's just wanting to play. The animals just start freaking out like crazy and gabby seen it and i and she took takes off running i was over here i was over here mowing jesse and the sheep take off running to the corner of the lot over there and gabby just v lines it all the way around the perimeter takes off around the corner i look and there is a big white dog trying to get underneath the fence over there and i haven't even checked to see if there's any way to get underneath there uh, we'll walk over there and look. I probably do need to check it. He was trying to get underneath. I say he could have been she underneath the fence. And it was. It looked like a German Shepherd, a white German Shepherd from the distance. It wasn't a great pyramid because it wasn't fluffy and big. It was more like Gabby, but just pure white. It's crazy because we had the black creature. Now we got a white creature. Um, anyways, so Gabby comes running around this corner right here, right through here, and just goes full-blown speed demon after this, uh, this white, I'm going to call it white German Shepherd. Takes off running down the road, and by this time the girl, the girls, and we were all over there, and I'm on my, uh, and I'm on my uh, lawnmower sitting over here, just watching this unfold. So she comes around the corner. Jesse was going crazy. He was just jumping up and down like a bucking uh, horse or something like that, or a, a steer, and it was trying to get underneath there. The only reason why any wild dog, stray dog, coyote, will be trying to get into your pen is to get one of your baby lambs or your sheep. I think Jesse probably could have handled himself on this whole ordeal um, because he's huge now. But Gabby chased it off. Good job, Gabby. Gabby chased it off and it just went out on the highway. Gabby stopped right there in the corner. I yelled at her and she got over there. There's Lily. Lily thinks she's real tough. And that dog just come, went running through, down the road and over there in about, in about five minutes after that, we hear a bunch of dogs just barking like crazy over there. So um, it went over there. I don't know if it's just hungry or what it's trying to do, but walk over here and see if we can get underneath this fence. You know, someone to dig it could, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, we've been living here, what, five, six years? Never had any issues at all. The fence looks good. What's up, Gabby? Lily, Lily, come here. He was right over here in this area somewhere, and there's nowhere that I could see that it could have got in here. Come on, let's go back up here. Good job, Gabby. Good job, you're a hero again. So as far as I could tell, there's nowhere this dog actually probably could have got underneath. Let's start digging. And it might have wanted to start digging. I don't know. But it was definitely after a lamb. Only only reason why it'd be over here had to be. See here. 
No, I don't see any place. It was crazy though. Gabby protected the homestead again. I'm telling you what, these German Shepherd dogs are awesome. Hey, Hadley. Hi. What did you see earlier? What was over here? A dog. What co color was it? White. Was it trying to get into the lambs? Yeah. Gabby stopped it, didn't she? Yeah, and it was right there. Then it, it went all the way. It went over, where to go? Over there. That's crazy, wasn't it? So, Gabby, good job? Yeah. Good job, Gabby. You hero. I guess lesson learned, I have to start keeping my camera on me uh, whenever I'm outside because you just never know when something crazy like is going to happen. It's just it's pretty much the same thing whenever that black creature chased the girls on the go-kart. Uh, we were outside. Me and my brother were outside. I can't remember exactly what we were doing, cleaning stuff up. And it just took, I mean, it was crazy. Didn't have my camera again. I'm telling you, if you guys are uh, wanting, or if you're thinking about getting a German Shepherd and you're kind of on the fence, I'm telling you, you're not going to go wrong. I have nothing but good things to say about Gabby. She has been our best friend, our guardian out here on the homestead. It's been awesome. Well, that's what happened. Gabby saved him again. Good job, Gabby. Hopefully the neighbors got him or something over there because even the neighbor's dogs were going crazy. So with that being said, that's what you're here for. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, our German Shepherd has saved our butts several times, saved my wife, my kids, now saved the sheep. And that's not the first time she's ran animals off from the sheep. But it's one of them things it is awesome to have Gabby out here. Any time I'm out here or any time the girls are out here, Gabby's out here on patrol. She usually follows them around in the goat cart for the most part, just kind of sits up and just watches them. Um, but yeah, she is awesome. So if you're thinking about getting German Shepherd, I recommend one for sure. We want to get another one sometime, but we're just not ready for another German Shepherd yet. Um, but we do want to get another one. Okay, so, well, I'm going to move on from the tack. And I'm going to show you, I'm planting a tree. I got, uh, I'm wanting to start an orchard out here. I had a couple apple trees planted uh, last few years, but they died too much water where I planted them. I got a peach tree and I got a plum tree over there. I'm getting ready to plant another peach tree and I'll show you guys that. Um, and then when I, get back, when I get done with that, I'll talk to you a little bit more about something else. part's done digging a hole putting the tree in there getting it filled back in i know i'm not a tree expert and there's probably someone out there who went to school just on how to plant trees you're probably going to tell me this wasn't right probably not you're going to tell me the hole wasn't big enough it was too deep not deep enough i get it well let me tell you something before you start uh, being a keyboard warrior out there about how to plant a tree first of all it's not even the right month really to be planting trees so there's my first mistake um, a lot of y'all may not know um, it's always a good rule of thumb from everything i've always been told is to plant trees in months in the fall months and in, in, in the fall and um uh winter months ending with er uh september october november december and then even in january and february when the sap's down low that's the best time to plant these trees i got these on sale um i got two apple trees like i said are in there and this peach tree um i've always had great success on doing it just exactly how i did it um i've got a bunch of trees over here not a bunch i got three trees over here I got a couple trees over here. I did have two apple trees that lived like three years, um, but just where I had them located at just wasn't a very good spot. That was my fault. It had nothing to do with the way I planted them because they actually produced apples at one point and then just they just died. But 
with that being said let me show you something usually um, I, I don't ever have mulch to put on them and um, from every uh, from my experiences you just want like a hill or mound to um, to help uh, divert the water because one of the main things killing these trees is they get their roots get drowned. Um, so I actually bought some mulch for this a lot of times those other trees all my other fruit trees I've ever planted I've just used the mound the first mound and cut it up and put it along the side and made a mound by itself and it worked pretty well um, but I wanted to do the mulch this year because I got a couple more that I want to plant and I wanted to do it somewhat like people say to do it and uh, that's might not be a big enough mound but that's bigger than the other mounds I've used over here and those are doing great um, so we'll go with this uh, like I said it's looking good uh, so I'm gonna put a stake in the ground um, I'm facing the stake I'm gonna put the stake um, on the south side that way when the wind blows like right now it's blowing out south it'll blow the tree this way we'll have my stake on that side and it'll and, and roped off and it'll keep it from blowing uh, my house that's the north so any north wind we're not going to be really getting any north wind for a while now um, but even in the winter when we get the strong north winds the house is going to be blocking most of it and if i need to i can always come back to here and put another stake what's up hadley huh we got i had another egg that's a big one too. Go get that carton of eggs and bring them out here and we'll show them. It's on, it's on the counter, sis. On the counter. Hey, go through there. On the counter. But yeah, you can see. Right now, I'll start talking to the sheep one. Meh. I try to get that in as good enough line as I could. It looks like it's pretty, pretty good. So that would give me two peach trees, um, a plum tree, which I need to get another plum tree. That way they could cross pollinate and two apple trees. I, I'm not going to show you planting apple trees because I'm probably not going to do it tonight. Um, I'll show you where I want to plant them. This, these are in front of my house. Um, what I wanted to do is put a, a mini orchard in the front of the house. And then I want to go over here on the side and put another little mini orchard. I call them mini orchards, like, you know, six trees on right here and then six on the side. You can see, uh, you might not be able to make it out. There's that tree. There's my other peach tree in my um, a plum tree i would like to bring maybe stagger a couple more trees in there and just have like a mini orchard right here my plan is we've been we've been mowing and cleaning up today so if you know some of my other videos i had a lot of trashers laying around i still do and um, we're trying to get a big dumpster back out here just so we all the construction stuff that was left over that we didn't get in the first one we can just start throwing everything away get this place looking nice and looking clean um, but you can see we got all this pretty much cleaned up for the most part. It looks way, way, way better than it did. Hey, come here. Don't drop them. So here's our little collection of quail eggs. You stick that in there. Stick it in there. That gives us a dozen. Oh, that's a big one. Put them pointy. Whenever you store eggs, you want to put them the pointy side down because we ever decide to hatch them, that's the way you put them in the incubator. Pretty cool, huh? You don't have to close it all the way because it might bust out. You can see some of them are laying pretty good size ones. So take that back in the house, Hadley, and don't break it, and I'll, I'll come help you in just a minute, okay? There's more in there. There's more eggs in there? Yeah. In the cage? No, um, in the thing, that gray thing. Look, come here. Hold two hands. What do you mean? There's more in the cages? No, in the gray thing above it. Oh, one on top. Yeah, I put, oh, hey, I did put one up there. Yeah, I forgot about that. We'll get that here in a minute, okay? But yeah, we're finally starting to get um, uh, quite a bit of eggs, like a couple eggs, three eggs a day from the quail. That's awesome. Um, but here's where I want to put the other orchard, just right here. I don't even know if you're really considering an orchard, just where I want to put some more. I'm going to put the two apple trees over here on this side. Um, now, it, probably, it won't get a lot of morning sun. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think it'll be fine once because that house is it's tall, really tall. That's, that's all attic up there. Um, but I want to put it on this side of the house. That way when we come in our drive, we kind of got like, not really a circle drive, but it comes all the way around. We'll be passing fruit trees right here. And if the girls ever just want to come outside and get a fruit tree that's just within walking distance of the house, uh, just gives me that old farm homestead type of feeling where you just got, you got fruit trees abundant around your house that you can make jams and sell fruit and all that stuff. And I, I'll, I wouldn't mind putting some more trees over there alongside that fence too so um it's just a process these trees are not cheap if you guys know that i'm sure you do um i think the peach tree is like 30 35 bucks and it was on sale but the other ones were on sale at lowe's that was actually at the orchard at not orchard that was actually at the um, local nursery and i like to support them as much as i can but sometimes their prices are just too high and you can pretty much get the same tree um, at lowe's for half the price i got the apple trees for like 19 bucks it's really hard to beat that compared to 30 35 bucks uh, so yeah that being said We'll be planting a couple apple trees here probably tomorrow. Um, like I said, I'm not going to show it to you today because it's today. Um, that's all I got going on. 
you guys thanks so much for watching and gabby is a lifesaver it's awesome um it just happens there's no telling how many times she's done this when we're not been out here um i gotta start keeping my camera on me you think that would be a rule of thumb i got, usually got my phone but my phone doesn't zoom in and i don't like trying to get stuff off my phone to the computers they're actually a hassle for me to do um believe it or not i'm not that good with uh, computers um but i'm good enough to where i can do it from the from the uh the camcorder to the to the computer but off my phone man that was it was crazy though that's pretty good size um german shepherd look german shepherd white german shepherd okay, there's no telling really what it was because it, it was a good distance away um, but yeah she saved our butts again and i don't know I, like i said earlier i think jesse probably could have handled handled that dog on his own you should, i wish i could have got him on camera he was bucking and kicking he was ready to fight and protect his little family over there ah oh, jesse jesse but all right guys that's all i got for you today hope you guys like the little vlog um you all know a lot of times um i'll do these vlogs and i'll and i'll show other things but i usually like to build stuff or plant stuff inside these vlogs so that way you're getting to see the homesteading plus our family and all that i know a lot of y'all like that we incorporate a lot of learning inside the vlog itself it's just not us playing games and doing all kinds of other stuff we actually like to do stuff around around the homestead for you all thanks for watching catch you guys on the next video Thank you.